So the sixth point, the sixth key. In the Middle East and in the Holy Land, people are too much obsessed by the past. You know, everyone is obsessed by the past. You know, you hear Jewish people talking, all what they like to focus on is the Holocaust. Look back. And you talk to Muslims, they like to talk about the Crusaders 1,000 years ago. And even Christians, you know, they come, visit the Holy Land, 1.5 million Christian pilgrims every year, they come to visit the Holy Land to do what? To run where Jesus walked. <laughs> So much obsessed by the past. And because they are obsessed by the past, they miss the future. Too much obsession by the past and too little focus on the future. And what did Jesus say? He said, anyone who puts his hands on the plow and look back is totally unsuitable for the kingdom of God. You know, if you keep just looking back, you will never be able to participate in building the kingdom. And this is why in our ministry, we don't like to talk about the past. You know, sometimes I have discussions, dialogue with Jewish rabbis. And they, you know, they want to talk about 67. I say, you know what, if you want to talk about 67, why not to talk about 48? He says, okay, so then let's talk about 39. I said, then let's talk about First World War. You know, it's an endless story, and you can play this ping pong endlessly. It would not lead you anywhere else. I always tell my, you know, these rabbis I talk to, I tell them, you know what? I don't care what the past is. What I know is we are in a mess today, and it's better that we come together out of this mess slowly but surely rather than talking about the past. But people are too obsessed by the past. And this is why, uh, this is why often I hear our Lord telling me, you know, Mitri, let the dead bury their dead. This is what they are doing because if you focus just on the past, this is all what you are doing. You are going from one funeral to the other. Burying the dead. Let the dead bury their dead. You go and do what? Proclaim the kingdom, that's the future. The kingdom is the future. And this is really what our ministry is all about, to focus everyone on the future. And if you come to our center, you will see not only a state of the art building, but you will see all of these young people, the future. You come to our center and you will see Almost all heads of departments are women, and all cleaning personnel are men. I say, this is the future. <laughs> In the Middle East, it's a revolution. But this is why we need to be so bold. 
because we have to focus on the future. It's this next generation that we have to nurture because they are going to make it.